Hey there pretty friends, it's Allison Wheeler. I just am going to pop on today to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to reduce uh, shine and uh, sweaty, possibly oily skin um, from your images using some pretty preset tools. This image was submitted by Norma yesterday in our Workflow Wednesday and she was having trouble getting the um, shine off of her daughter's face. She's a dancer. Um, I'm guessing, what is that, Texas? Maybe, uh, I mean, I'm in the Big 12, so I should know. Um, maybe the A&M, is that the right colors? I don't know. Um, anyway, so she is on the dance team, and she just got finished dancing, and she had this sweat, and Norma did not know how to remove that, so I am happy that she allowed me to make a video um, showing how to do that. I went ahead and already edited this image. I'll show you the before, um, what it looked like before. To edit, all I did was using the Clean and Creative workflow set. I used a Quick Clean and Contrast and um, Quick Clean, Center Light, Contrast, Tones Cool and just kind of work my way down and then I came over and did a custom white balance by using the dropper um, and coming over here and clicking on a white area to just fine-tune that white balance and then um, just bump the exposure just a little bit more just to give her a little bit more light so to go and answer the question about shine uh, Pretty Presets has a really great um, perfect portrait brush set and in there, in that set, let me scroll all the way down, there is a, a brush for softening skin and um, reducing shine. So either of those work really, really well. I'll show you this reduce shine brush. Um, just come over here and, you know, I always just kind of start really lightly. You can come over here and see where it says... Uh, like density like if you wanted it really to affect the whole thing it would be really far up if you wanted it to be kind of a lighter a mask you would scroll it down so I'm just gonna just really lightly paint over and you can see it's kind of turning a little bit red and that's where the brush is affecting and I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and see how that did and we can I always love to do this before and after and you can come in and pull in See, that's what it was like before I started doing all the brush work. And you can zoom in. I just do that by pushing the space bar. And you can see it's helping some. Um, so you could do that. And if you wanted to do um, put a new brush and just do the skin smoothing brush, you can come all the way back down here again. Scrolling down. There we go. Skin smooth. And just do the same same thing again she's got beautiful skin so she doesn't need too much smoothing just over those areas where it's just the most shiny all right let me turn my brushes off and give it a look and this the next part is where I think it really really helps the the shine and it's actually using this uh, spot removal uh, brush but I always do it on the heel right here so make sure you click on heel and then so you don't like overdo it I always dial it down to below like 50 I think yesterday I said I put it on like 30 34 percent so I'm just gonna type that in and where I always just the area that you want to remove just come over and hover your mouse there and then just do a little click and see it's gonna take it way up there but we don't want it there we want it back on her skin on a on a piece that's not so shiny and so I'm going to zoom in just by pushing my mouse, zoom in up here to her forehead. I'm going to make this a little bit larger and do a click there. Push my mouse to zoom back out. Or, I mean, not my mouse, my space bar. Come on there. My computer's going really slow for some reason today. There we go. Okay, and I don't want it up here, so I just come over here and move it down. I might need to make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to delete that one. Delete. I'm just going to make my cursor a little bit smaller. And then move it over to a not so shiny spot. And you're just going to do that uh, over to all the little shiny areas. So right here on her lip. Just right 
there. I'm just going to move it to up there and we'll see how it looks. Might move that maybe to down here. And let's see. Maybe do this little spot by her chin. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to turn that off and I'll do a before and after. And you can see it's gotten significantly less shiny. Um, you know, right there on the apple of her cheek is less shiny. The, the upper lip and her chin and the forehead. Um, if, you, if you wanted to go over the spot one more time, um, I might do that. Let's see. Whoops. So well, I'm going to zoom back out. Ah. Pushing that again. And this time I'm going to probably, I'll lower it down because I don't want it to be like overpowering and I'm going to tap H so I can hide all the rest of my dots so I can get grab a new spot so click and there we go I think that looks really really good if you want to see where it where it went it came down here and you can move it around um, if you wanted to up the opacity a little bit to get, get a little more coverage you can there, oh there I think that looks pretty good just bumping it up a little instead of down whoops there we go so with the use of the um, pretty preset brushes, oh, I did yesterday, back up just a little bit, um, use the, from the Colorlux collection, this Brighton brush. There it is. Just to help kind of dodge her, the little bits of a shadow on her face. Um, just right here, just to kind of brighten it up just a little bit more. Because there's a little, it looks like there was like an overhead light maybe. There we go. All right, so let's see the before and after. This is bef after the base edit, but before the brushes, and this is after the brushes. And I think you can really tell that the shine has gone. We've really evened out her skin tones and the shininess, and I think it looks really, really good. I'm very pleased with this edit and love being able to use my pretty preset brushes to help achieve um, less shiny skin because um, everybody wanna, wants to look their best in their pictures and with these tools you surely can. So hopefully that answered some questions and I'm always happy to answer other questions that you guys have. Maybe I talked too quickly or um, didn't go over something uh, with enough detail. Happy to answer so let me know. Have a good day.